And drivers weren't the only travelers slowed down by the winter storm. Many people catching flights experienced delays and even cancellations due to snowy conditions. ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from the Salt Lake City International Airport to tell us how weather, not just in Utah, but really across the country, has impacted passengers. Lena? Emily. Some flights in and out of Salt Lake City were delayed by 40 minutes or more after the airport got eight and a half inches of snow in last night's storm. Samantha Reinbold was afraid her flight from Virginia to Salt Lake City may be canceled or delayed. My parents texted me and they were like, oh, there's weather out here. There might be delays. Um, and I heard some other people had delays coming in to kind of nearby places. Luckily, her flight was on time. It hasn't been too bad. It was super full flights both times, um, but I didn't have any delays or anything like that, and it all went pretty smoothly, I'd say. But not all were so lucky. Nancy Vollmer, a spokesperson for the Salt Lake Airport, says at least 30 flights going in and out of Salt Lake City were canceled, and dozens more delayed due to the winter storm that hit northern Utah last night. There is weather in other cities that is causing some cancellations with connecting flights as well. And it's not just the flights. Security checkpoints and even concession stands were busier than usual. There were definitely really long food lines, yeah. I didn't bother waiting for food anywhere because it was they were all pretty long. It's just a good idea for passengers to allow plenty of time if their flights are still taking off, just to make sure they can get out here, find parking, uh, make it through the security checkpoint, and then onto their gates. But the winter storm in Utah is not over yet. There's more snow expected to come this way, and that storm could impact flights going in and out of Utah tomorrow. So we're just asking pa the passengers who are coming out to the airport, if they have a flight that's scheduled, to be sure to check with their airline prior just to make sure that their flight hasn't been delayed or canceled. The next winter storm is expected to impact the state in the next couple of hours. Live from the Salt Lake City International Airport, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.